given how bad Lonzo Ball has looked to start his NBA career and considering the avalanche of pressure he's under to turn all around, you have to feel good for the guy that he notched his second triple-double of the season in a nice Lakers win against the Nuggets on Sunday night. All told, Ball posted 11 points, 11 assists and 16 rebounds and was a team high plus 29 in 39 minutes. It's a nice line dot but the numbers look a lot more impressive than the tape dot I don't mean to be a buzz kill here but triple-doubles are becoming a little watered down. Given the league-wide high pace, the way small ball has affected rebounding in the sheer volume of often-assisted three-point attempts, there are going to be a lot of stats available. That means a lot of long rebounds and gimme buckets in transition, which sets up the assist to continue its role as a wildly overrated statistic given the imprecise nature of their keeping. Sunday, the Lakers and Nuggets combined to take 184 shots including 63 three-pointers. There are a lot of uncontested or long rebounds available, and Ball grabbed a lot of them simply by being on the court more than any other player. Still, I won't even try to knock a 16-rebound night. That's impressive for anyone, let alone a point guard. Under any conditions. Lonzo's points and assists, though, are another matter. After watching replays of every one of them, it's clear there isn't a guard in the NBA, all-star or backup who couldn't have converted most of these opportunities in his sleep. They in no way indicate any sort of forward progress in terms of Ball's ability to create off the dribble or hit, well, any kind of jumper under any kind of duress. Hell, two of the assists were inbound passes. Seriously, this was one assist so is this look at that. Brooke Lopez catches, faces up, jab steps, pulls back and hits a three. He does every bit of the work. And Lonzo ends up with an assist for a pass that a decent high school player could have made. Moving on, here we get a 2 for 1, an uncontested rebound and another very generous assist, which is really more like a fumbled handoff that Julius Randle salvages. Ball deserves some credit for that play if only for pushing the pace and forcing the issue, but the end result is basic basketball at the NBA level. This last one is my favorite, though as Ball connects on the always difficult swing pass that they teach at 8th grade basketball camp. Give him credit, I guess, he did hit Randall in the shooting pocket from 7 feet away with nary a defender in sight. Fox Sports' Chris Broussard put it well recently on Twitter on most nights, Lonzo is little more than a ball mover. That pass to Randall is not his assist, even if it was scored that way. Indeed, Almost none of Ball's 11 assists were in any way an indication that he is somehow turning the corner as a playmaker. To the contrary, they were circumstantial, a direct result of somebody else making a shot that Ball had little, if anything, to do with creating. Every point guard in the NBA picks up assists like this on occasion, but Ball failed to show he can do the more difficult work, making plays for teammates the way a pass first point guard needs to. Speaking of creating, Ball didn't do much of it for himself either, as his 11 points were similarly circumstantial, right place, right time kind of deals. Like this by the way, that was another one of Ball's rebounds, an air ball that falls on his lap. Now, to be fair, Ball did make a couple nice plays off the dribble, one in end and finish with his left hand in traffic, and the other this end of half isolation where he shows at least a smidgen of explosion to the Rimo.